Hello, everybody, and welcome to Work Against the Grain. My name is Jeff. Just a quick video here. Um, the question came up, what do you do when you have a model such as this? Uh, it's a Masonic symbol. And you want to create this model utilizing different pieces of wood and utilizing the inlay techniques, right? Like maybe you want the square to be one species of wood, you want the compass to be another species, and maybe the G another species. And when you have a model like this, if you come over to your modeling tree, you can see here, this is all one model. And so what you have to do in order to get this to be however many different components you want it to be, you have to utilize the clear area of selected component inside selected vectors and clear area of selected component outside selected vectors. And so the first thing that you want to establish is a vector that goes all the way around the part. And so, or the model. So if you select the model and you come here to create vector boundary and click that, I turn the model off. I now have an outline of the model itself, but it didn't catch any of this, right? It's just literally the outer edge of that model because the model's all one piece. And so really, you could painstakingly utilize the drawing tools, uh, the polylines, the curves, the arches, and you could draw the vectors um, around the various parts and then clear the appropriate parts of the component away. Or you can use the trace bitmap. So if I come to edit, and I trace the bitmap, and I want to move this, let's say I want to separate that G, for example. I want to bring this bitmap so that the, the dark colors filling in there is the model. If I go to 100%, that's the model. We already have that vector. And so I'm going to use this slider to slide it back. If I were to leave it like that, for example, then I would get vectors right here and I would get vectors right here and let's go ahead and do that let's let's trace the bitmap right there preview it and then close and so now let me come over here and turn the model off instead of just having the vectors that go around the whole thing I now have these vectors here and so if I turn the model back on and I select, say, this vector here, let me just drag this out so you can see it. That's the vector that we're looking at, right? Let me undo that. And then I hold shift and select the model. And then I come to clear area of selected component inside selected vectors then if I come over here to my 3D model that's what I'm left with now I, I recognize there's absolutely nothing that you can do with this I mean you've got the this side of the compass and the top but you just have to play with that you have to just continue to trace the bitmap right and you may have to bring in a couple of different instances of the model or save different instances of Vectric because once that model's gone, what are you going to use to do the next one, right? So let me go edit and reset the component here. Let me show you this one more time. If I go edit, trace bitmap, let me bring this down so I just have the, the G portion, for example, right? 
that's all I have is just the G and the bitmap fading over here you can make it darker or lighter and I have the G now and preview apply and close and now I come to modeling and turn off the model now I have a G and so if I now take this vector turn the model back on and now I have that vector highlighted shift and I go clear area of selected component inside selected vectors it wipes out that back portion and just gives me the G all by itself and so then you could if you did the inside let me go edit undo now it's back and let's do the same thing we'll select the component hold shift and select that now we'll do clear area of component outside selected vectors now the G went away and all I have is just the little back part back here of the model and everything else is gone so in utilizing either your drawing tools or the tracing of the the bitmap of the model you've got to establish vectors around each individual part and then clear the area inside or outside until you get the pieces that you want it's not easy it's time consuming but it can be done now I also mentioned that whoops I also mentioned that we could do that also by uh, drawing and so for example let me just get rid of all those vectors there turn the model back on let's do a create a vector boundary whoops got to select the component first create a vector boundary and now I have this and I can use my drawing tools for example whoops drawing tab and use a straight line and connect this come down here to this intersection and then come up here and select this and finish right now let me uh, close that go to modeling turn off the model and this is the line that we added right here right and so now if I take that vector and we've got to break this one up first right because this was the one that we had that went all the way around so you're going to press N for node editing and we've got to cut these intersections cut the vector there let's zoom in here and let's uh, we'll cut the vector there zoom in here we'll cut the vector here press in again for node editing right okay and so now we've got this vector we've got that vector we've got the vector we drew we've got that one and then we need to connect them all and so if I select this vector hold down shift and select the one that we drew or excuse me the one that we drew when we did the vector boundary come to my drawing tools and connect or close with a straight line it's going to draw a line there hold shift do the same thing here so that we get a straight line here right and then hold shift again and select the one that we drew ourself and we'll just join those to open we're gonna close it join now I have if I turn my model back on 
I have a vector that goes all the way around our square. And so if I select the component and I hold shift and select the vector that encompasses that square, and then I come up here and I clear the area of selected component outside the vector, then the entire model disappears and I have the square. Now because when this was baked, that compass was baked into that square, you've got a little remnants of the compass here on the square and you can use the smoothing tools. Um, you just, you, you got to use your modeling tools if you want to get rid of that particular piece, right? And so I would save this instance. I would go file, save as, and I'd save it as just the square. And then I would open Vectric again and either draw some lines or use the trace bitmap and save the compass and then save the G. And you've just got to continue to use the bitmap tools, the trace bitmap and your drawing tools so that you can create outlines to get separate components. Then once you have the separate components, you can machine them separately and then if you want to inlay them, you can use the vector of the component that you drew as the pocket that the inlay will go into. Now I hope that's not too confusing. The bottom line is, is that if you have a model such as we have here that is baked and you want to separate this into different pieces so that you can use different pieces or species of wood and use some inlay techniques. The only way that I am aware to do it is to break apart the model into the pieces that you want, utilizing the clear area of component inside and outside vectors so that you come up with three or four different components as opposed to just one. I hope this has helped. I really appreciate everybody watching. And uh, I'll have some more content up soon. Thanks again. This is Work Against the Grain. My name is Jeff.